welcome to today's video. I am sharing um, the kind of finale of this series that I've been doing for Scrapbook Nerd where I had a kit. I filmed a kit video and a haul video sharing um, what that looks like based on the Coco Vanilla Studio Happy Days collection and um and what I made and what I used up and what I have left and this is just to like kind of make a kit to encourage myself to use old things and new things and how we can kind of put them together and make a lot of different projects with it so you can see here on my desk I have a lot of different projects that I'm really excited to share with you today of what I made over the last few months with this kit so if you missed the video where I did the haul and the kit. Um, you can find that in the playlist or on on the YouTube channel, but um, I will show you today everything I made. And uh, maybe I'll show you first what I used up and what I have left, and then we'll go through all the projects I made so you can kind of get an idea of how much I used. So you can see what I have left here, and I did use some things up. I And I should mention, if you didn't see that video, I used things from my stash that were partially used up that I wanted to finish using and kind of like mix and matched it with new products from Scrapbook Nerd. So the things I used up, I actually used up five things completely. Um, one of them I don't have on hand because I must have thrown it out because I can't find it anywhere, but it was that clear sticker sheet. It had, I think, three stars on it left of the clear stickers. And then I used up these gems. I used up these enamel dots. And then um, Joy gave me two sheets of rub-ons that were completely full when I got them. They were the new one of the, some of the new products. These were already partially used, but these ones were new, and I used up the entire sheet. So five products I used up, which is awesome. And you'll be able to see here that I was so close to using up the rest of it, but it just wasn't quite enough to um, to like make more projects with. So I'm going to end up putting these in my stash with other products that are of similar colors or patterns. It might be with other Coco Vanilla Studio products or it might just be with other collections that have similar color schemes so that I can use up the rest of the products. So I do have three packs of enamel dots and gems left that were already partially used that I'm going to be putting back in my stash. But I used up a lot of this one, which was great because this one had a lot of, like some of these were very much, these are even Halloween gems, but they were very much like oranges and, and greens and things that I don't use often. So I have this little bin here of enamel dots and gems. So I'm gonna place them in there and have them on my desk to use. Um. Let's go through the papers quickly and then we'll go through the embellishments. I have some scraps here. I cut up both of the cut apart sheets. So you'll see here in a second, I have a lot of cut aparts left because I did just cut them all up. And then I have one, two, three. Oh, I love this paper. <laughs> These will go in my sash though. So no big deal. Four, five. Oh, that has the peaches on the other side, six and seven. And I did use this paper on a different layout. So I have seven papers left. I don't remember what it came with. Um, it came with 16 papers. Oh, wow. I actually used that more than I thought. So these will go straight into my stash and I have some scraps left here. And then these are the cut aparts I have left. I'll show you here. Mostly just, um, word stickers. I used up all of the, um, like journaling cards and stuff which you'll see in a moment and for embellishments and things this in this sheet I have this little label kind of thing these three labels which I'll definitely use because labels I use in a lot of projects I have word stickers and then I have um and those again will definitely use very easy for me to use in here um I have just a little bit left I used up most of them but these I will be able to use really easily in this ephemera pack, it came with 48 pieces, you can see there, and I just have the peach left, this little tassel banner, and then some hearts, so I used up most of that, which was awesome. In the floral pack, there were 55 pieces, so this is what it looked like, and this is what I have left, so I used up most of that. Um, this obviously is not something you can use up, but I did use the um, stamp and then we have this, which I only have beautiful and fun left. I have an RA or RE, but I'm not going to be using that. But uh, 
I think I did pretty good with this. I just have two left here and then a few left of the embellishments. So I feel really good about that. I used up most of it. And again, I'm just going to put it in my stash and I'll be able to um, finish using it up, I'm sure. So let's talk about the projects I made. I tried to do a really good variety of projects. So I did two scrapbook layouts. I did two albums. I did some shakers, a tag flip, and a memory deck and memory decks cards so let's go through all of these projects and these are all up on youtube so you can find all of the videos for them um so i'll start with the 12 by 12 layout oops we have a 12 by 12 layout with two photos and this is where i used a lot of the rub-ons and you can see i used that 12 by 12 rainbow paper there were two of each paper in the in the collection kit so that's why um, but I did sewing on each of the rainbows to give it texture. I did some white paint sweaters and yeah, you can see the rub-ons in them. I think it makes the paper look like its own kind of like it makes it look not like the rest of the papers, I guess, or like if someone were to use the same paper, our projects would look very different. These are the stars that I had used. So you can see those there and there's one peeking out there, the three stars and I used up that pack. Um, and yeah, so this is what this layout looks like and, um, I really like it. I think it's great. And then here is, this was actually my most recent project. So you can tell, like I was on the last bits of everything really trying to use things up, but I used some paper here, a lot of the flowers and kind of made like a little visual triangle. So that was my most recent or the last project of, of the series. But we also have a couple other things here. I used some trim from my stash on this little album that I made. And we have like a shaker um, front here. And it's supposed to be like a little mini album that I'm going to gift. We have, oops, sorry. Um, we have some like just little, little pockets here. And yeah, I used, these are from some of the cut aparts, these little rainbows. And, oh, we have another page in here. And this is something I'm going to gift to someone in Happy Mail so they can use it in an album if they want to. Um, and I have some of the cut aparts on the side here that they can use as well. So um, this is a fun little album that I made. And then speaking of albums, I also made this little traveler's notebook again with the shaker front. I believe I used some sequin mixes from my own shop. Um, and then I did some stamping in here. And again, the recipients can use this to make like a little album or whatever they choose to do. So this has a few more pages. I used some of the rub-ons here as well. And I did some embellishments kind of like sticking off, um, sticking up, um, like on the top to just kind of give it something different. Sorry, I had packaged this in some happy mail so you can see the little packaging in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did like some of the rub-ons and stamping and stuff to just make it different. And um, I left it really open for the recipient to customize. So it's little, but it's cute and kind of a fun little DIY project. Here, of course, we have a tag flip. I love making tag flips. They're so easy to make and um, yeah, I really love them. And I love some of these um, stickers that were like, kind of like the enamel dots and they had little hearts on them, which was really cute. So I did sewing on each tag and basically what I did was just cut up the entire cut apart sheet and the great thing about these collection kits is that um, they come with two of each so you can really like stretch it far and use it like as different embellishments and things. Sorry, like I said, the packaging got stuck to things. Um, oops, now my finger's stuck. Anyway, that's what that looks like. I think it's a really cute tag clip. You can make this into a mini album or whatever. I did like smallest embellishment to largest and that's kind of how I made it and how I put it together. Um, but the cut apart sheet was perfect for that. Literally used all different cut aparts to make this little mini album. Now we have some memory decks cards that I am going to gift. So we have four different memory decks cards here. And I think they're so fun. I love this one with all the flowers. And last but not least, I think this was the first project I made was um, these little shaker frames. Um, I used some sequin mixes, I think from my shop. And these frames, I believe were from the um, ephemera pack. And so I was inspired to make some shaker frames and I think they turn out so cute. 
I love them. I love using the acetate for shaker frames and kind of seeing through to the other side. Well, you probably don't want to look on the other side because it's not very pretty, but uh, I think these are fun and really pretty. So, um, yeah, those are the projects I made with this kit. So we've got a lot and I just really wanted to show a variety of the types of projects you can make. And I just think this looks so fun seeing all the, the projects together on the table and what you can make with a collection. And it wasn't a lot of stuff I had. It was a collection kit, two ephemera packs, um, the enamel dots, the stamps, some rub-ons, and then a few things for my sash that I already owned. So um, obviously you can make more with this. I didn't use every single piece. And like I said, I'm going to combine it with some things in my stash um, to uh, make it go even further. So let me know what you think. Let me know which one of these projects is your favorite. I think I like either the shakers or the tag flip best. I really like this album. This was a close one, but I'm still new to album making, so I think I could have done better on the construction part of it, but like looking at it like that, I think it's really cute and fun, but I think I, I still need to work on it, but tag flips and shakers, I'm a little bit of a pro at that, so <laughs> feel a little bit more confident in those skills. Anyway, thank you so much for being a part of this series. I'm excited for the next collections and kits we're going to work with, so please stay tuned for the next haul and the next kit making video, and uh, this was a lot of fun. So this concludes this series, and um, we'll see you shortly for the next one. Thank you so much for being here and for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!